This book depicts acts such as cannibalism, non-consensual sex, slaughter, and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Discretion is advised. Tender as the Flesh is not a book to read lightly. It explores a raw look into the farming and meat processing industry, leaning heavily on themes such as factory farming and caging, and uses cannibalism and the justification of it in order to get the point across. In this world, there was a massive virus that decimated the population of animals, and due to that, the animal industry was phased out and human meat was phased in. There is a fear among the animals that are left in the society, and we see that through interactions of people using umbrellas because they're afraid of birds, which might give them this virus. There are companies that make software to make life like pets. The main character, Marco, was a butcher, and he is now a part of a major supplier of special meat the term used to describe human meat. Humans that have been processed and slaughtered just as animals would be in today's society. He is the supervisor and the right-hand man to their CEO of this company. The sterile description of the slaughter process is in stark contradiction to the small glimpses that we gain of Marco's life outside his job. The losses and the challenges he faced, the mourning of his son, and the woman given to him that he now keeps in a barn. His attitude at work is so cold and unattached, and yet his contemplations at home are a mixture of human emotions. Terrifying dreams haunt him of his family being eaten alive, reminding the reader that in this world, humans are nothing more than meat to be eaten. I found this book more a series of contemplative descriptions and observations, facaded with a small plot about Marco's senile father, the loss of the baby, and the chance to raise his own heads, or humans bred in captivity for specific purposes, like breeding. This book is the epitome of a what-if scenario. What if all the animals died out due to some virus or through overconsumption? What if any animals we did eat were deadly to consume? What if it became normal to eventually use humans as the primary and only source of meat? The word choices in this book are used so it almost almost becomes forgettable that these are humans, you and me. Words like heads, meat, carcass, product, leather, words we associate with either butchery or farming. And then there's the normalcy around the workers in these processing plants, from breeding to raising to eventually, well, butchering them. It's when the latter is explored that you think if these humans feel so scared when they are meeting their death, then how do animals feel? There's one scene in this book that really sticks out to me. Marco is eating with his sister and his niece and his nephew. Marco is saying that the government wants to manipulate people and that that's why the government is there. In the meantime, the children are playing a game. The girl says, we're wondering what Uncle, Ma Uncle Marco would taste like. And his sister says, enough. We don't eat people. This scene highlights the normalcy and yet the ignorance that has grown around the society because the family, with the exception of Marco, who is a vegetarian, is eating 
special meat. Meat that comes from people. While I was able to guess the ending of this book, the climax of the story is as quick as it is generally unexpected. Lasting all of one to two chapters at the very end, it leaves you with not only a sense of dread, but questions regarding choices that were made throughout the book. The world building from the characters to the society to the industry was so well executed. The dialogue fell short, but it was clear from the very beginning that dialogue was not the priority. The book did what it set out to do. It was thought-provoking, raised questions, and was definitely a disturbing book. I gave this one four stars. So that was my review of Tender as the Flesh from Augustina this, that, from Augustina Baz Terica. What did you think of the new format? It's a little bit more somber. Have you read the book or are you going to read the book? Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until the next time, bye bye.